Hello, welcome back. Today, instead of doing a random game on Saturday, we are actually going to do a Stormworks mini tutorial for a component that I'm releasing, which is basically an update for the fuel conversion system. Let's get started! So behind me, I put together a bomber cockpit with some fuel tanks, and then I'm going to show you how to hook up the new instrument panel. But first, let's find out why. Well, if we walk over here and we jump into the cockpit, jump into the cockpit, we can see that we have a bunch of dials here. And this is for each one of the fuel tanks. So that's five, six fuel tanks. So if this was a B-17 bomber, we would have our four fuel tanks and possibly we could have auxiliary fuel tanks if we had them in the uh, bomb bay hangar. But we don't because we don't have a bomb bay. But if we did, we would need all of these gauges here sprout out across the front of the cockpit just for fuel tanks. So where will we put our altitude? I don't know. Where will we put our speed? I don't know. Engine temperature? Don't ask me. So what we're going to do is minimize all of this mess. So let's go ahead and jump into the editor. All right, so here we go. We have our fuel tank set up. This is one, two, three, four, five, six fuel tanks. These two are auxiliary. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bust out what I worked on earlier today, which is a bomber fuel conversion. So I had the old one. This is the old one. And if we look at it, it had an input for the fuel tank. So you could go over here and you could put this one and you could put this one. And then you would put it to your dials like so. And so this is the way it worked. And I don't believe I had a, no, I didn't even have a uh, selector here. So it was US gallons. And this one also handed, I believe, altitude and speed in US measurements, feet and uh, miles per hour. But the new component, let's delete this, has bomber fuel conversion only. And it's a bit smaller, so that's cool. So what we do to hook this up, if you want to use this, is you go ahead and you have your fuel tanks. So we're going to say that this is fuel tank number one. We're going to come over here and find fuel tank number one. Where are you? One. Fuel tank number two. Two, well, let's do two over here, I guess. Number two, fuel tank number three. I think this one's gonna be number three. And then fuel tank number four. Okay, and then we'll have auxiliary tank one and auxiliary tank two. I could probably switch these back between these so that makes a little more sense. This is one, two, three, four, and then one, two. So I'll probably fix that. But for right now, we'll just leave it like it is. So in order to use these new instrument panel uh, components, you have to do a little bit different than these boys. So let's delete these because we don't need these anymore. And I don't know, let's just fill this up here. And so what we do is you find your instrument panel component or block and we go ahead and place them. Okay, so they don't require electricity or anything special like that unless you want to do the, of course, the, um, what you call it, the backlighting. But we're not worried about that. We just want to hook these up. So, now we have a bunch of these. How many do we have? Oh, oops, not that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got more than we need. So what we can do is we click on this. Oops, not with that, with this. And let's start at the bottom here and we'll leave this Hmm, we'll leave these all here. So we'll put this on channel number four for fuel tank number four. And we'll set this zero to, I don't know, we'll just say 100 because I don't know how many gallons those things take. And we'll say fuel level four. Very cool. I'm going to copy and paste that so I don't have to do it again. And then we're going to go to the next one and set it to channel number three and fuel tank low or fuel level number three. And we want it to be a dial, yes. And we'll just again do zero to 100. I did do zero, right? Yes, I did, okay. And then we'll go to this one here and say it's fuel level number two. Set that to zero, set that to 100 and set this to channel two. And then do the last one, which is instrument panel number one. And set to zero, set that to, oops. Set that to one, max value. We're just gonna put it to 100 again. 100, I said. 100! And then leave it to channel one. Okay, so I believe that it goes one, two, three, four, but we can make sure that I'm not lying. 
So let's go ahead and look at what it says over here. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and then we have these extra ones over here. Let's get rid of those. And we're gonna come over here and set up our auxiliary fuel tanks, uh, fuel tank readouts. So on this one, we don't want this. So we're just gonna set it to none. And this one, we're gonna set this one to none. And then we're gonna go ahead over here and set it to fuel level auxiliary two, because this is number two we're on. I'll copy that because I'm lazy. And set this to zero. And I don't know, we'll set it to 50 because we know these little tanks are not big. So get it, the little tanks aren't big. It makes a lot of sense when I say that like, <laughs> like that. Okay, so we're gonna go to fuel tank number six because we know that we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, and this is number six. And then we're gonna come over here and set number auxiliary one, two, zero, and 50. Oops, and 50. And set it to number five. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I think that's all we need to do, right? Yeah, looks good. Okay. And so here is the trick about these guys. So when we're using a regular dial, let's pull up a dial like this. And it's upside down. That's okay. What you would do is you would hook your fuel tank like this directly to it. Or if you had something in between converting the code, uh, converting the fuel, you know, you would hook it in between there and then it would hook to this. So it's all green and you'll see on these new instrument panels, there are no green inputs. So what you have to do is over here on the left, it says composite, click the composite button. And now you'll see we have one composite coming off of our, what you call it, our microprocessor. And we're gonna bring it in and let it click there. Then we're gonna do it again and click the second one. Now you'll notice all of these are coming off the one component and going into the instrument panel. And if you're wondering how that works, if you're new to the composite stuff, that's because it's actually sending a signal of, of different channels. So this one, if I go ahead and unhook these, this one composite signal is sending out channels one, two, three, four, five, six, and even more if I wanted to. But for right now, it's sending out six signals. And this component is receiving, if we look at it, is receiving, channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four, okay? There's a four. So when I hook my microprocessor to this block, this block is looking for channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four to display. This block, when I hook it there, is looking for channel five and channel six to display. Now, if I put more on the bottom, of course, it would look for channel seven or channel eight or whatever channel I set it to. So that's how these work. So now that I have these set up, I can go, if I want to, click on my microprocessor, and I can set my fuel conversion to US gallons or liters. So I'm American, and I like my American bombers. So I set mine to US gallons. So when we go ahead and spawn this, we're gonna see that our new control panel takes up two blocks rather than all of these blocks here. And we have our fuel level one, fuel level two, three, four, five, and six. And you see there's a lot less fuel than I thought, so these could be lower. But what I wanna show you is, look how much room we're saving just by using the new um, block. And it looks great. So anyways, this is just a quick tutorial on how to use this component, which I'm releasing because I like my fuel conversions to be available to everyone and I wanted to show you how to use it with this small tutorial. So that is it for today. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions on how to use this uh, component or anything else, let me know and I'll be happy to help. That's it, see you next time. Time to run away. Thanks for having to get to the water. Hey.